Joshua 6.27 Vayehi Hashem et Yehoshua Vayehi Shom'o Bechol Ha'aretz And the verb here we have is Vayehi. This comes from He, Vav, He. And this means to be. And it's um it's a very uh, common verb, but it's used in some distinctive ways, not like others. So the formal form is kal vav consecutive imperfect 3ms, um, but it's used in uh, different ways. I guess sometimes we could just say, and it came to pass, but not here. It really has its verbal sense, because we have the Lord, and then we have this et. Now, um, normally et uh, would be with a tsere, but then it reduces when it goes into construct as it does here. Now, this term et then could either be definite, direct, object marker, or the preposition with. And you have to decide by context. Now, in this case, it looks like the Lord, he was with Joshua. So then the sense of Vayhi here is actually uh, the verb sense, not and it came to pass, but rather the Lord was, he was with Joshua. And this is a very significant because um, the promise was, I will never leave you nor forsake you, says Deuteronomy 31. And the issue there is, I will never leave you and forsake you when you invade and go to battle. And so the defeating of Jericho shows the Lord's faithfulness. He, in fact, was with Joshua. And of course, then, Joshua's fame spread through all the land.